I hate confrontation and the older version of me would avoid confrontation with all her mind. But the consequence of not dealing with your conflicts as they come is way greater than the temporary inconvenience of having that uncomfortable conversation. And here's why. If you don't deal with your conflicts as they come, you create war within yourself. And we all know any environment that has war is likely to be affected negatively. Um, for starters, sometimes things are not as they seem. And I know this might sound cliche, but that is the simple fact. Sometimes things are not as they seem, as they seem, and when you confront someone about it, you're likely to find out that actually that is not what really happened. And then secondly, if you don't confront someone about something they've done to you, chances are they don't even know they've offended you. They actually have no clue that you're having a conflict with them. But the other thing also is you deny the other person the opportunity, the chance to make a change or to make a difference because someone might be aware that they did something but they didn't know that it rubs you wrong. And by the mere fact that you get to have that uncomfortable conversation with them, they are made aware and you know, some people are willing to change and of course others are selfish they don't they don't care they just don't care they're not willing to change i remember when uh, we just got married uh, sometimes uh, i'd have an issue with my husband but because then i used to hate confrontation sometimes i would just be quiet i throw around some attitude and all that and he would ask what's up what's going on and i'll be like nothing and of course I'm an adult, he would let me be, yeah, he, he would just let me be. And after some time, after having that whole war within myself, I would, I would come up and speak up. And then he would be like, what? I did what? What offended you? He's like, I had no clue that was eating you up. You get it. So the fact that we are humans, and we are not supernaturals. We ought to have that uncomfortable conversation. We ought to have those confrontational moments with people so that they are aware. We shouldn't just assume that, oh, since they did it, they know that they offended us. Like, we should give ourselves a break. We are not the Holy Spirit, if you come to think about it. We can't be that discerning all the time. So you ought to deal with it. You ought to deal with your conflicts as they come. Now, when it comes to conflicts within relationships or marriage, it is actually paramount. It is very important that you deal with those conflicts as they come because you're literally living in the same space with this person. And if you keep piling up issues, um, the consequences like way greater. So a few months into marriage, this good friend of mine called to check on me, find out how marriage is, how I'm adjusting to a new life and all that. And one of the things she emphasized, she was like, okay, so are you guys fighting yet? and how are you guys handling your, your challenges how are you guys handling your issues because she knew those are inevitable and of course we we had some some challenges but which we handled we we talk a lot we talk them out so she was like okay if you guys are handling them then that is good that is very good because guess what if you don't deal with your conflicts in marriage it's like this is the analogy she gave me she said it's like having a woolen carpet in your house and whenever you clean the house you push the trash under the carpet you clean you don't take out the trash 
but you push it under the carpet. She went ahead and said, given enough time, your house will start to smell. And the first people who will recognize who will who will recognize this will be the people living within the house. And then given more time, the neighbors will start smelling. Your, will, will start noticing the smell in your house and given more time hmm, the smell will keep you know circulating the whole environment and by that she meant if you if you really don't discuss or handle your issues as they come in marriage they, they keep escalating and if you one person who doesn't talk about it you just keep quiet it, it, it shows up in your attitude like I like I, I mentioned earlier, I would have an issue with my partner, but I would just keep quiet and be throwing around attitude. And in case someone is within our vicinity, they would easily notice that something is wrong with us. Something is not right in the relationship. So basically, the more you don't talk about things, it's the more you bottle them up the more you water them up until it reaches an extent and you can't handle things anymore. You're likely to separate other people even end up divorcing. And now I'm friends with confrontation. You do something I don't like, I, I, I tell you right away. And I'm good. I'm good. I, I, I also, by the way, learned how to forgive very quickly. <laughs> it's not easy, but yeah. And I'm still working on it, by the way, the forgiving part, yeah, I'm still working on it. Otherwise, it is really, it is really important and key to always deal with your conflicts as they come. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.